Hello and welcome to IT Admin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Phoenix OS to Windows 10 operating system. And that Windows 10 OS is in legacy mode, so let's get started. Okay, so here I'm on the Phoenix OS website, phoenixos.com, and you can see that we have two download options available. The first one is for Android 7.1, that is Android Nougat, and second one is for Android 5.1, that is Android Lollipop. Android Lollipop is only available for 32-bit, while Android 7.1 is for 64-bit machines. So within 7.1, we have further two options available. You want to download as an EXE installer or you want to download an ISO image. So we'll be going ahead with the first option, Android. In this case, what will happen is that it will be downloading and installing as a file and you will be booting into the file. While second one, you can use this ISO image to physically install as in the partition, uh, as a Linux partition. So uh, I have already downloaded, you can click and download. I have already downloaded and I will be proceeding with the installation. So it's sitting on my desktop. I'll simply double click on this. Yes. And here we are getting three options. You want to install it, you want to make the, the flash drive or you want to uninstall it. So uh, I'll be going ahead with the very first option, click on install. And now it's asking you that on which hard drive you want to do the installation. And I can see over here that I have just one partition over here. If I go to this PC and you can see I have C. You don't need to create an additional partition. You can use the existing partition and it will be extracting in the folder called as Phoenix OS. And then you can use those files to boot into them. So. I'll be using the C drive and click on next and that's asking you that on the C drive it will be creating some data files where it will be storing your data whatever applications you install so what is the size of that so depending on how much storage you need there in the Phoenix OS you can select that so I'll be going ahead with the 8 gigs so it will be much more faster you can go with 6, uh, 32 or 16 also so I'll go ahead and click on install and now you can see the installation is started and depending on your disk speed it's going to take some time. So uh, what it is doing behind the scene you can see if I go right click and go on to the task manager. Performance. And it's utilizing high disks. If I go into the resource monitor to see what it is reading or writing, you can see on the disk tab. Okay, so if I sort over here, you can see that in the temp folder it is creating a 7z file by the name Phoenix OS. So if I take you over there, percentage temp percentage. And if I sort, you can see over here it has created the 7z file and it will be extracting this file to the, the C drive. So you can see in C drive after some time you will be finding Phoenix OS and here is dumping all those files. So this is all what's happening behind the scene. So this might take some time, I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so the process is completed and you are getting this dialog box asking you to reboot now. You can click on OK and it has also created a shortcut at the desktop. And when I double click on that, it's going to boot into the Phoenix OS. So uh, let's see what's doing it behind the scenes. So if I right click and go on to the file location and here you're going to find that it has created some batch file. If I show you the batch file and this batch file contains all that magic code that actually adds the entry to the BCD boot BCD uh, database you can see over here we have this code over here that is adding the entry in the BCD and further if I scroll down you can see it's also having the code for uh, UEFI installation so you can see this is the code for UEFI the next video will be showing you how to do it for UEFI and this video is for uh, legacy bios so i can click on ok or i can click on the start so this machine will get restarted so i will do the recording offline so see you after uh, the restart okay so before i reboot my machine i'm going to show you the entry that has been done into the the boot configuration database so if i go on to the command prompt and open it as administrator here if i type in 
BCD edit and there you're gonna see that we have one more entry that has been made over here that says real mode boot sector and this is pointing in the C drive it's showing there's a file called as Phoenix LDR and if I take you over to the C drive and I have opted for showing hidden files and system files and you can see over here I am able to see the Phoenix LDR so this is what you will be booting into and this Phoenix LDR will be loading all other operating system files and here you can see that these are all the files and this is the data file that you opted for that's gonna be 8 gigs and these are all other files so now I'm going to restart and show you how this works so just simply double click on start Phoenix OS It asks you to run as administrator, click on yes, and now it's going to be rebooted. Okay, so from here I can select the language as English United States. Accept the license agreement. And connect to the network. Specify the account name, click on finish. And I can see your Phoenix OS is ready. Okay, so that's all about it. Hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install this in UEFI mode. And uh, if you want to go back to Windows 10, you can just simply turn off, clicking on this icon over here. And select Restart, and then you're going to find the option for Windows 10.